Hello everybody, today we're gonna see about data transformation using RStudio and most parametric tests require that the residual be normally distributed and that the residual uh, must be homoscedastic. And one approach when the residual fail to meet this condition is to transform one or more uh, variables to better follow a normal distribution. And often just the dependent variable in a model will need to be uh, transformed. However, in a complex models and uh, in a multiple regression, it's sometimes helpful to transform both dependent and dependent variables that divide greatly from a uh, normal uh, distribution. So this is uh, uh, nothing indeed in transforming variables, but you must be careful about how the result from the analysis of these transformed variables are uh, reported. Sometimes uh, measurements are um, sometimes measurements in nature are uh, naturally uh, normally distributed and uh, while other measurements are naturally log normally distributed. So there, there will be a possibility to have many low values with fewer higher values and even uh, fewer very high values. So uh, these are the, uh, the approach that are going to use data transformation. And uh, the another approach, uh, the other approach is to use a general power transformation, like uh, a tacky, uh, the tacky ladder power or the box cox uh, transformation method. So these two methods determine uh, a lambda value, which is used as a power correction to transform uh, the values. That means, for example, you can give a name, let's say x. So in order to transform this one for a tacky you have to say x the power of lambda. And uh, for, if you want to go for the uh, box cox method, so x is the power of lambda minus one over uh, lambda. So by this, with, by this method, we can use the, the power function. And the function transform uh, uh, takay in our company package finds a lambda, which makes a single vector of the value. And that one is the variable as normally distributed as possible with a simple uh, power uh, transformation. And uh, the box cox procedure is included in the mass package with a function called the box uh, the box cox, and it is uses a log like uh, it's a log like loop procedure that find uh, the lambda to use to transform the dependent variable for a linear model, uh, for example for ANOVA or maybe for uh, linear regression and the other possibility is also uh, it's used in a single uh, vector. So today we will gonna uh, see a different uh, transformation method. The first one is the scale transformation, the second one is the cube, the third one is log, the last two are the power transformation method that means the techy ladder as well as the cox, uh, the box cox methods. So let's start from the first transformation method using the scaleless method. So uh, before going that you have to import your data if you have uh, an Excel or CSV method using this import data set. But I create here data which starts from 110 to 20,000. Then uh, the data name is a data, so run uh, to our studio. Then after you have to call the Recompany the package into your studio and to run uh, different uh, security method, curated as well as the log method and different approach. So run this one into your studio. Then let's see whether our data is normally distributed or not by typing what normal histogram and indicate our data in the parentheses. So type this one and run into your studio. Then already the data is displayed as you see here in the light in the right side corner of your studio. And it is uh, positively skewed, positively skewed. If it's negative, this tail will shift to what to the left side. So this is not uh, normally distributed uh, data. And if you want to draw the QQ uh, normality uh, plot, so you have to type QQ norm and indicate your data in the parentheses, type this one. So this is, again, it's not normally distributed uh, data. In order to fit the line across this observation, you have to type QQ line and data indicate color is equal to blue, the line that draws blue. So type this one and run. 
So as already displayed here, the observations are what? Uh, divert from the line. As you see, it is also divert from the line. Divert from the line also here is divert from the line. So this shows that our data still is not normally distributed. So one method of uh, transforming our data using the square root transformation. So square root transformation is mostly used for what? For moderately skewed data as well as for the current data. What means the moderately skewed data? Moderate, moderately skewed data means if your value is tends from negative 0 0.5 to negative 1 as well as uh, from 0 0.5 to positive 1. So if your data is uh, found in the, in the aforementioned range, so you, you have to use scale root transformation method. So you have to assign any name that you want here, uh, data, SQRT, and, or Wagjira, uh, or whatever you want. Then you have to use a function, scale root, and also you have to show your in particular data or the parameter or the variable that you are going to transform. So type this one and run into your studio. Then let's look like the histogram. So plot normal histogram and indicate the newly transformed data name that means data as clarity. So type this one and run into your studio. And still uh, it's not uh, again uh, normally distributed. Because, as I mentioned before, it's, mo uh, it's mostly used for count data as well as for a moderately uh, skewed uh, data. So, how uh, to know whether it's moderately skewed or not? So, type library uh, library p uh, s y c h onto your studio, then uh, run, then after type uh, skew. Skew function, then you have to type what our data name is what uh, is data. So type this one and uh, run. So around is 2.06. So to say moderate is uh, should be range in what in negative 0 0.5 to negative 1 as well as from 0 0.5 uh, from positive 0 0.5 up to uh, positive 1. So it's not uh, the data will not be transformed or the data will not be uh, normally distributed if you transform it uh, uh, using the scale transformation because our uh, skew is too high too high to sing in a sense means if it is uh, greater than one so if it's greater than one it is high so it's not uh, work for the scale transformation but in case if it is a value is around 0 0.4 it is safe and you, your data will be normally uh, distributed so by this way, you can use the square root transformation method using SQRT. And mostly, square root transformation method is used for what? For both uh, count data as well as for the moderately skewed data. The next method of uh, data transformation is using the uh, cube root uh, transformation. So the cube root transformation is a fairly strong transformation with a, a substantial effect on the distribution uh, shape, and it is weaker than that of the log method. And it's also used for reducing the right skewness. Uh, it's reducing helps to the right uh, skewness and has the advantage that uh, it can be applied to uh, zero and. Uh, negative value. So in order to do that in our studio, so you have to assign any name that you want and here is you have to use the function sign and also indicate the, the parameter or the variable that you are going to, to, to transform. And also you have to use this ABS and indicate your data in order to what to reduce the complex number. So type this one and run into our studio. By the way, cube root uh, uh, the cube root uh, uh, transformation method is greater than that of the square root transformation, but it's less to the log transformation method. So type this one, and again also let's draw the histogram. So by typing this and, and run to our studio. 
so so again and also it 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 already to somehow it's reduced the skewness comparing to the skewed to the skewed one but still it's not normally distributed so we need to use the uh, stronger method the stronger method is what the log uh, method so the log transformation uh, method is one of the strongest transformation with a major effect on the uh, distribution shape and it's commonly used for uh, reducing the uh, right skewness and it's often appropriate for a measured variables especially when your data is contained very uh, few larger values so it helps to have a constant uh, uh, variance and uh, uh, this method is different from other admins for example comparing to the previous group the cube uh, root transformation method uh, it cannot be applied to zero or uh, and negative uh, values so in order to uh, transform our data using the log or the logarithm function you have to assign a name that you want here and you have to use the log function here and the variables that you are going to transform so type this one and let's see our uh, histogram look like yes yeah comparing to the other ones now it's very strongest the other one is still the other one was uh, uh, right skewed still but it is uh, look like it's normally uh, distributed so this is uh, very strongest than comparing to the scale root as well as the uh, cube root transformation methods then the next method of data transformation is the techie's letter power of transformation so the approach of techie uh, ladder transformation or power it uses a power transformation on your data set for example raising a data 0.5 power is equivalent to applying a square root transformation raising a data 0.33 power is equivalent to applying a cube root transformation here i use a transform the transform uh, tacky function which performs the attractive Shapiro public test and finds the lambda values that maximize the W statistics of from those tests. That means uh, this uh, this finds the power the power of transformation that makes the data fit the normal distribution as close as possible uh, with the type of transformation. And again, uh, if you have a left skewed data, for example, so left skewed values should be adjusted with uh, constant values in order to convert to the right skewed and perhaps uh, making uh, all values uh, positive. And uh, in some instances, uh, for example, the right skewed data may be beneficial to add a constant to make all data values uh, positive before running to transformation. So, for uh, again, again, also for large values, it may be helpful to scale values to more uh, uh, reasonable uh, range. So, in order to uh, run uh, tacky or ladder function on your studio, you have to use transform uh, tacky function. So, assign any name, any name that you want here, and again, indicate here your particular variables that they are going to transform and also you have to say positive to call to true so let's uh, see our uh, histogram so close this one and also write data tag that we assign here so type this one and run so it is more it's more distributed to comparing to even the logarithm the log uh, method so by this way you can use the uh, Techy ladder power of transformation in our studio. And uh, uh, lastly, let's see about the box cox function or uh, the box cox transformation. The box cox uh, procedure is similar in the concept to the techy ladder power uh, procedure. Uh, as I described uh, the above, and also, however, instead of uh, transforming a single uh, variable to maximize a log likelihood um, statistics for a linear model like uh, ANOVA and also linear regression. It also 
uh, work on a single variable using a formula x as explained by one as you write here x is maybe our uh, parameter or variable that are going to be transformed so by this way you can also run for a single uh, variable and uh, the boxcox procedure is available with a boxcox uh, function as you see here and also it is built in the mass package here is a package that are going to analyze use this uh, function however a few steps are needed to extract the value of lambda uh, especially uh, to transform the data sets so uh, let's call by uh, let's start by calling the mass package into our studio then you can use uh, you can any you can give any names that you want here and also you have to use the function boxcox for a single uh, variable using the formula data or the parameter that you want to analyze so type this one and also you have to indicate here if the sequence is negative 2 up to 2 by uh, 0 0.1 so type this one incorporate in your R studio so by this way still is our data is look like it's normally uh, distributed and here also the log likelihood that I, that I mentioned before is this and uh, in order to calculate the lambda uh, it needs some procedures or steps the first one we have to create the data by uh, data frame with, by using the result especially you have to say the function data frame and also from the box you have to use the x and y and also after them you have to decrease the y value by saying this uh, negative cox and attaching box dot y and also you have to use the comma and uh, also we have to display the lambda which is by suggesting one up to one then comma and use this uh, bracket after this uh, then you have to extract the value of uh, lambda so lambda is equal to cox 2 that we mentioned here it's cox 2 means cox with you have to use the function with and also cox what we mentioned here is the data frame is x that contains x and y and you have to alternate to decreasing the y value so you have to indicate that one then one then box dot box under the quotation so by this way you can extract the uh, lambda value then we forgot already to incorporate this one we already create this one so let's run to our studio then again run to our R studio and again also let's display this lambda into our, our studio so you already mentioned here then let's extract our lambda so lambda is equals to uh, cox2 then 1 and you have to use the box dot x under quotation so type this one and run to our studio and lastly transform the original data so you have to name any name that you have to give any name that you want here is data box and our data uh, or a variable or the parameter is data then 10 raise uh, then raise to the lambda value then minus one and over lambda value by this way we can uh, transform our uh, data then let's see how our uh, histogram look like so type this one and run yes comparing to the others the box cox function help us to achieve a normally distributed uh, data so this is all about uh, method of transformation or method of data transformation and if you have any question regarding to my tutorial you can address me through this uh, email that means you have just as found at gmail.com and i will provide uh, this, synth this, this syntax in uh, description uh, uh, box and thank you for watching and have a nice time